Fittest is at the vanguard of any humanitarian disaster response. They are on the ground within 48 hours, establishing essential communication services. These vital connections save lives. Since its creation in 1996, Fittest has completed missions in over 130 countries. They have been involved in all major humanitarian operations, from Iraq and Afghanistan to Mali and South Sudan. The true strength of Fittest lies in the commitment and the spirit of the team. They lead nomadic lives, moving between some of the world's most complex operations. The conditions they live in, sometimes for months at a time, are at best rudimentary and very insecure. This type of work is not for the faint-hearted. Personal accounts from emergencies, such as the tsunami in Indonesia or the earthquake in Haiti, include moving bodies during the day and finding cardboard boxes to have somewhere to sleep at night. Over the years, they've been shot at, taken hostage and injured, fatally, in terrorist explosions. They've travelled via planes, trains and automobiles, as well as on horses, mules, and sometimes just on foot to get to where they need to be. They work to the point of utter exhaustion, and then some. Being fittest is not simply a job, it's a way of life. Fittest members do not see anything exceptional in what they do, but their work is nothing short of heroic. When their colleagues underwent a terrorist attack in Baghdad, Fittest was on the ground. After the bombing, volunteers were sought to replace people being evacuated. Alan, Dani, Lionel and Mark said, yes. They didn't have to, but they stepped forward despite of the risk. Botan survived a terrorist attack in Peshawar. When he was needed again in Pakistan, he stepped forward. We lost Botan during a second attack, this time on the WFP facilities in Islamabad. Rob and Ekwe, fully aware of the risks, volunteered to travel to Islamabad without hesitation. When a sister UN agency fell victim of another attack in Algiers, Mark and Pierre volunteered. Fittest are our heroes. This video goes to them. It goes to the family of Bhutan. It goes to the fittest families who see them leave every time to a new emergency. It goes to Crystal, Dita, Elia, Enrique and Emilio, Iman, Isla and Sersha, Jacqueline, Kate, Olive and Theo, Noah, Suryaprakash. Fittest families all have a father, a husband or a son to be proud of.